All right, so uh, we've, been, we've been talking about multiplying two matrices together. And the first thing that we had to do is check to see if we could mu uh, multiply them by uh, looking at their orders. So let's actually do some multiplication. And this is going to be kind of a discovery pro process where I'm doing some examples with you so that you can kind of slowly catch on to what you're actually supposed to do when you multiply two matrices together. Okay, so here's the first part of it. So remember what I have to do is I have to figure out what the dimensions are. So uh, the first one is one row by two columns. So it's a two, a one by two, okay? And the second one is two rows by one column. So it is a two by one. The two in the middle match, which means my answer is gonna be a one by one. One by one matrix. A one by one matrix has just got this has got one number in it, okay? So this is how I do it. You ready? I always do, I'm gonna write this up here, a row by column. Think of RC cola. Think of how I name the thing, it's always a row by column. So I'm gonna take this first row and I'm gonna multiply it times this first column and then you add up the entries. So, again, it's gonna be a one by one, it's just gonna be one number. I'm gonna take four, uh, two times this four, two times four. I'm going to actually write out the steps and then simplify it so that you can see what's going on. Plus the three times the five. Three times five. Okay, let me keep simplifying it here. So this is eight plus fifteen which just simplifies to the number twenty-three. And that's it. There's the answer. Again, you might be going, huh? Just wait for it. Let's get a, a few more examples down before it really sinks in. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, kind of switch these things around. Now I've got two rows in one column multiplied times one column times two rows. Right? Uh, uh, one row, two columns. There we go. Numbers in the middle match, so we're good there. And the answer is going to be a two by two. All right? Okay. So again, it's a row times a column. So the first row here is two. The first column on this one is a four. So we're just gonna multiply two times four, okay? Now I'm going to take the first row and multiply it times the second column. So I did it times the four, now I'm gonna do it times the five, two times five. That's the second entry. It's not plus on this one. Okay, now I'm going to move on to the second row of the first matrix. So I'm going to multiply the three times the four. Not a five, a four, four. And the three times the five. And before I simplify this, just take a look at um, how this thing is set up. You can see the two and the three from that first column, and the two and the three again from that first column. And then going across, you can see the four and the five and the four and the five, right? Okay, so now let's simplify this. It's gonna be an eight, 10, 12, 15. And there's my new two by two matrix. Okay, need another one. Now let's do a, let's see, the dimensions a one by two, that's not how you write a one, it isn't, one by two, and I'm gonna multiply it by a two by two, and I can do that because the twos match, my answer is gonna be another one by two, okay? One row, two columns. I multiply these a row times a column. So I'm gonna take the first row, which is two, three, multiply it times the first column, uh, a one, two, and I'm gonna add up the entries. The two gets multiplied times the one, two times one, and the three gets multiplied times the two, plus three times two. Okay, there's the first entry after I simplify that. Now I'm gonna move on to taking two times three and multiplying it times the second column. So this time it's two times four, and the three times the five, plus three times five. Okay, and now let's simplify here. 
Uh, 2 times 1, I got uh, 2 plus 6. And the second entry, I got an 8 plus 15. Keep simplifying. It is an 8, 23. There is my 1 by 3, or uh, 1 by 2 answer for my matrix. Okay. Now we're almost there. Just putting a, a couple of more puzzle pieces together. We're going to multiply a 2 by 2. Multiply times another 2 by 2. Go ahead and write that thing down. Follow these steps. Now these steps are going to be animated here, so I don't have to write stuff down. But we'll talk through it, okay? So what is it that I have to do first? First, I have to see what each dimensions of those matrices are and see what the product dimensions are going to be, okay? So that's the first thing I'm going to do. The first one is a 2 by 2. The second one's a 2 by 2. The middle numbers match, so we're in good. We're in good. We're good. And the answer is going to be a 2 by 2. Okay. So this always happens with square matrices. If you multiply one square matrix by another square matrix of the same dimension, you get that dimension back. Okay. So remember, I multiply these things together by taking a row and multiplying it times a column. So I'm going to take the first row, which is 2, 3. And I'm going to multiply it times the first column of the second matrix, which is the 1 times 2, or the 1, 2. And I'm going to add up those entries, so it looks like this. So the 2 gets multiplied times the 1. Pull up my pen here again. The 2 gets multiplied times the 1. And the 3 gets multiplied times the 2. That's what I see right here. And then I'm going to add up those entries and simplify it. So that I've got a 2 here, and I've got a 6 here. 2 plus 6 gives me the 8. That's down at the bottom. Okay. Now I'm going to move on and multiply the first row times the second column. Okay. So first row is the 2, 3 again. And I'm going to multiply times the second column, which is the 4, 5. And it's kind of like taking that 2, 3 and turning it on its side so I can multiply the ones that match up. I'm going to multiply the 2 times the 4 and the 3 times the 5 and then add up those entries. So 2 times 4 plus 3 times 5. Add up those entries, I got an 8 plus 15. That, of course, is 23. Okay, so I've exhausted all the possibilities with my first row. Now I'm going to move on to the second row, the 1, 4. Okay, so I'm going to take the first or the second row and multiply it times the first column, 1, 2. Again, think of that row, turn it on its side, and I'm going to multiply 1 times 1 and the 4 times the 2. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like 1 times 1 plus the 4 times the 2. I get a 1 here. And I get an 8 here. Of course, I add this up, I get 9. Okay, one last one, last one to do. That is taking the f second row and multiplying it times the second column. So 1, 4. I'm going to multiply that times the 4, 5. I would be multiplying 1 times the 4 and the 4 times the 5 and adding those up. Right? 1 times the 4 plus the 4 times the 5 and adding those things up, I get 4 plus 20. I get 24. Okay, before we move on, just take a look at how, how this lines up so nicely. I can see the 2, 1, the 2, 1, the 3, 4, the 3, 4 from the first matrix, right, in both of the positions. And then I can see the columns on the next one. I got 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and then on the second one with the purples, the 4, 5, and the 4, 5, okay? So this is always a nice visual check to see if you're doing it correctly or not, okay? So there's my final answer, 823, 924. Again, it's a two by two. So here is the definition of matrix multiplication. If you wanted to write something down, you might want to pause it so that you can see this two by two multiplied by another two by two, the A times the B, and how that product looks. Remember, I mean, if you don't want to write everything down, it's all summarized for you right here. It's a row times a column. I'm going to take this row. I'm going to multiply it times that column. The A gets multiplied times the E plus B times the G. You've got to add up the entries. Okay. Um, and, and I say down at the bottom this definition, why it's defined like this is going to make a little bit more sense when we do an application question. You'll see that probably in the next video. 
Okay. So uh, let me actually fix this little diagram over here where it says row column because that thing doesn't match up. I can't multiply those together. There, there aren't enough letters, so I'm just going to double up all my rows. So whenever I go to multiply this row times the column, remember, I just kind of take it the row, and then I turn it on its side so that the numbers match up and then add up the entries when I multiply them. So it's going to be big R times big C, underline R times little o, little o times L, underline O times U, and uh, W times M, and finally underline W times N. Does that make sense to you? Totally makes sense to me. That's how you multiply two matrices together. It's a row times a column, and then you add up the entries. Okay, so uh, one last thing here on this video, video is like you might be asking why the number of columns in the first one has to match up with the number of rows in the second one. This is because whenever you multiply a row in the, from the first one by a column in the second one, those numbers have to match up, right? That's what we saw. If, if I'm going to add up those two entries together, those numbers have to match. So how many numbers are in, how many elements are in any row? If I think of a matrix whenever I write a matrix down however many numbers that are in the row is the number of columns that I have okay and then how many elements are there in any column in the second matrix that is how many rows that I have in the second matrix therefore the number of columns in the first one has to match up with the number of rows in the second one the two in the middle have to match up in order for you to get to multiply the two matrices together <gasps> All right, let's check out the next video, maybe get a, a little bit more practice with matrix multiplication.